Hey, I just washed my hair, and I got. I think I'm gonna get a cut soon. I want to show you something before I continue. This. This is my medical marijuana card that they sent to me. On the back, it has my photograph on the back. Um, it's real and it's legal, and. That is the whole point of the process. I'm not lying about it. Sometimes people want to think that I'm lying about things, but I'm not lying about things. Um, I'm, uh, the book is published. <laughs> it's like I'm on autopilot. I just say that it's happened. It hasn't happened yet. It's going to happen now. I have the book ready to be published. It's not... It's not a book about spirituality, but it's a book that I wrote. It's poetry that I wrote in college, my senior year of college. And I've said ever since I've written it, I could publish this. And I haven't. And I've always just kind of said it and let it, let it go. And it's not, doesn't rhyme. It's just thought. It's just bursts of thought. I've got about 60 of them or 55 of them, 50, 58 of them, 58 of them right now that I have on my computer. I'm going to read a couple. This one's called The Smell of Winter. I read this earlier. Every time I am lounging around, I light a match. My dad is a fireman, in case you are worrying, if I light myself on fire. What is that smell? It smells like burning flesh, which smells like graham crackers. The Smell of Winter. And it made me think, burning flesh does, like, Ground Zero. I worked at Ground Zero, um... I moved to New York September 5th, 2001, and then six days later, the Trade Centers came down, and I ended up working down there for four months, and it smelled like graham crackers at ground zero, and I attribute it to the death. An odd smell, graham crackers. It's odd that I attributed it to that, but it was what came into my mind when I smelled what I was smelling. A combination of just destroyed buildings and dead people. And a guy said, the people aren't dead underneath the mounds of debris. It's, they're not in there. The people are on the bottom of my feet. He like pointed at the bottom of his boot, showed me the bottom of his boot. He said, this, the people are here draining down into the East River because it's so hot that it melted everything. And when they would find a body part or a body, it was just this white twizzlery substance and that was the bone, everything else had melted away. And when they would find a fireman, they knew because the fireman's coat was heat resistant and it would still be intact a little, it would still exist, and then there would be white bone inside. And they would wrap it up in an American flag and carry it off the hill. This poem made me think of that again, and I've been thinking about it again. really kind of woke me up. I remember I started reading the news every day after that, and I've always just read the news ever since. Okay, uh, anyway, that's one poem. I'll read another one, and then I'm going to... I mean, it's really good. They're really interesting. They're like... They're violent. Some of it is like really violent. Like I had a lot of rage in college. I was dating Amanda, and it was this. I was writing a bunch of these right before me and Amanda broke up. Like right before, it was like right before Christmas. Okay, I haven't read this. I haven't read them in years. Some of them. This one's called Dinner Time. Good Lord, what time is it? He is so big in my eyes. Vision is impaired. I feel his massive presence encompass all of me. Oh fuck! Get him off of me! I scream. Terms I cannot understand. Process is impossible. Here he comes, his eyes. I know it is dinner time. I gotta go back. I gotta, like, I gotta understand these things. Because it was, they came out of me. And I wasn't thinking. Every once in a while, like, the ego would take over and try and, like, make it. But, oh, here's one called homosexuality. I wrote this in college. Fucking guys all day long. I come in all their asses. I'm not gay, just curious. Hold on, here comes another guy. Homosexuality. 
I'm not gay, just curious. Um, all right, that's all. So if you want to publish this, or if you know somebody that wants to publish this, let me know. I'm putting this out into the collective consciousness that I want to publish this, because I think it would be like a thin book. I don't know, six ninety nine or nine ninety nine at Borders, but it would be, it's very interesting. My dad was laughing so hard at some of them, and he said that I should publish it way back in the day. I remember over Christmas one time, we were talking on the phone, and he told me that. When I was in Ohio, driving over to my grandma's house to see them all, or maybe he was in the car with me. I'm going back soon, a couple days. All right, I'll talk to you soon.